Micronesia. In April 1947, the United States assumed responsibility for administering authority under the Charter of the United Nations. The outstanding achievement politically has been the development of self-government. There is equal suffrage and the people are eager to participate in government. On election day, they flock to the polls to select the men and women who will represent them in the Congresses. There was a uh, policy on the part of the administering authority to develop local self-government. And municipal elections were the first things to get started. In time, local political participation was expanded to include the election of representatives at district councils, the forerunners of district legislatures. Marshallans Congress was the first Congress in Malo Micronesia. We formed in 1950. We had our own Marshall-wide body that did not legislate, but made plans and, and talked about concerns, including the nuclear testing. I think the Ponobo District Congress was organized in 1958, and Bailey was our first president. But those district legislators didn't, you know, they could only appropriate money, uh, you know, locally derived. They cannot touch revenue from, from the trust territory. So their power was very, very limited. Even so, these new institutions, municipalities and island councils, eventually took on a life of their own. The Insular Constabulary of the Trust Territory was organized in 1946 for the maintenance of law and order. They have little to do because the islanders are a peaceful people. My father's police force was comprised of two people, two guys. And they, were, they had two lambretas, and that's how they patrolled the whole island. They had uniforms. It was uniform that they copied from the U.S. military. Khaki shirt, khaki pants, either long or short. But very little problem those days. A lot of fighting, but it, it's this just rumbling around without any uh, weapon or anything. And the police come and stop it, and they just normally keep the peace and see, you know, if there is any problem. Dispensaries have been established on several islands, many of them staffed by islanders. Medical aid men are recruited from the islanders and trained in a Navy school. And so they sent three of us to uh, Guam Memorial Hospital in Guam in 1948. They call it uh, assistant medical officer training. They recruited uh, all over the in my Kunisha area. In my classmate, there were Dr. Minoru, and Dr. Jose Saipanis, Nas Kanso from Truk, Aniol from Truk, Dr. Henry from Marshall, and myself, Ito Radis from Pompey and Benjamin. Dr. Ezra Rucklin, Dr. Trevor Rizoda, Dr. Arma Rizoda, Dr. John Iman, Dr. Isaac Lanui was also one of them. Whether as nurses, dental and medical assistants, or patients, the Islanders have welcomed the efforts of the Navy to enhance their physical well-being. The School of Nursing provides a three-year course the young women are quick to learn and seem naturally skillful in caring for their patients.
In education, too, the record is good. The youngsters are eager to acquire knowledge and are faithful students. Education was first given to the, to the municipalities as their responsibility. Some of them ended up paying their teachers in kind, you know, breadfruit, taro, fish, and some, like where I come from in Europe, teachers just doesn't get paid. I taught uh, one year at the uh, Chalankanwa Elementary School, and then I moved to Hapur, and the, the number of students was only nine. The first high school, only nine, and I was teaching uh, Western Civilization. All the people appear to be more content as they gradually learn the new ways in the island training schools. This teacher's training school has a surprisingly varied curriculum. Before long, the early teacher training programs evolved into regular high schools. Pacific Islands Teacher Training School, Pitts, located in Chuuk, became a full four-year high school, drawing some of the best students throughout the territory. Our principal has a good voice, and I remember Every time uh, we had an assembly, like Friday, then his favorite song is uh, Onward Christian Soldiers Marching. That's his favorite. And he got good, loud voice. So everybody was marching inside the uh, gym. It's graduation day. In this parade of smiling, well-dressed graduates lies visible proof of progress in both health and education under the trusteeship.